Could this also, um, Dan? Gotcha. Okay, and welcome to the MindSaw SEO show presented by Toilet, by uh, Johnson Toilet Paper. Just one wipe. <laughs> <laughs> That's their logo. That's their uh, uh, saying. <laughs> Just one wipe. That's all you need. That's funny. All right. So uh, today we have on uh, my good friend who I've been speaking to for about uh, past the past year. His name is uh, Daniel from uh, GMB Rockstars. Yes, sir. Uh, say what's up. And then we have uh, Darren over at uh, Retail SEO. You guys met him yesterday. And today's a great show. And you know what my saying is, don't bore us, get to the chorus. Mm -hmm. Right. So before you tell us who you are and what's going on, let us let everybody doesn't care about that. They want to know, man, what's going on with GMBs, <laughs> man? man. We don't care about you. We don't care about Darren. We don't care about me. Like, look, what's happening? Because this shit's happening, man. Like, yes. like one day this next one day there's more places. The next day there's not more places. One day you have a client that has a pest control and they want to give you uh, 20 <laughs> pest controls to do. And, they, and, they, and the next day there's nothing left. So, uh, you know, don't yeah, bore yeah. us. Get to the chorus. Get to it. Yeah, so, we, we, what's going on? It's get it's crazy out there, man. With the spam coming from a lot of guys doing it on Fiverr, uh, doing it legit, uh, Upwork. Uh, these guys are spamming these industries out. Uh, basically, a lot of these industries. I have a list for you guys that be coming just like locksmith. Um, locksmith, as you, everybody know, is is on lock in the U.S. Um, out, of, out of the U.S., you know, you could get anything verified from U.K. To, Ara to Ireland to Dubai. But in the U.S., Locksmith is on lock. So what hold Google... Hold on a second, Darren. Hey, Darren, just, just hold on. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Dan, just hold on a second. So for people who don't understand, mm -hmm. you, um, why don't you explain a little bit what Fiverr is and Upwork is and, okay. and their methods that they use for spamming? Because, you know, a lot of times we use terms and then people's, uh, people are like, what's Upwork? What do you mean yeah. by spamming? You know, I, uh, you know, that's technical talk. You yeah, know, yeah. Break so, that down so, a little bit. so basically Upwork, um, Fiverr, Legit, these are all basically mainstream, mainstream businesses where you go for third party services. This could be anything from content writing to graphic design to logo designs to even GMB verifications at one time. Um, Fiverr uh, really cracked down on the GMB verification side. So you don't see a lot of verification guys on Fiverr, but you do see a lot of guys. You could actually buy traffic for your website. You could buy track, uh, you know, SEO. You could buy monthly SEO, hourly SEO, all that little stuff from people in Pakistan, India who want to make money, who knows the industry a little. I, I'm not saying I guarantee you to get results from these services because a lot of these people people are hustlers. You know, they're looking right. to make more money. They maybe get something from YouTube. They spin it around and sell to you on Fiverr Upwork. But, um, you know, these are places where you could get cheap services for cheap prices. And as you guys know, cheap is not always the best way to go in SEO. So, um, you know, that you could buy everything from backlinks to press releases, you know, and, you know, I'm not saying that all the press releases are awesome. They could have spun yeah. content, stuff that you don't sure. want to do in your SEO. But um, these are locations where you can actually buy those services, you know, for cheap. Gotcha. And in regards to... In regards to spamming, what are some of the practices? So let's just say I go on Fiverr and mm -hmm. I buy a GMB on Fiverr. I pick a dealer. I'm like, yeah, just give me yeah, a. Sure. I need I need an address in I need an address in Chicago for yeah. uh, website design. So so, so, what, what, so what would they do that so would get what, me kicked off? So what a lot of people are doing now, um, which they did with Locksmith, uh, that maybe five months ago, Locksmith was like the number one thing you could do in lead gen to make a lot of money. A lot of money right. easy. Um, people were basically building 20 to 50 locations around the zip code and selling it to a local locksmith. So let's say Al's locksmith was the, you know, lo the local guy in the area. And, you know, maybe they had a, a five-star company like Bob's locksmith. You know, Al would actually buy these leads off these lead generation guys and um, basically just take it from there. You know, they use tracking numbers. Um, and but what happened with the locksmith is so many people started doing it that they were building 5,000, 10,000, 15,000 locations in one area. Google started seeing that. And obviously, Google is all about being user friendly. And once right. they started seeing that, that's it. They started uh, 
tearing down these ver- suspensions. Even main brick and mortar locksmiths were getting taken down. That's you know? right. They get it, caught it, in the it, net. It was insane. And that's well, well, what's happening now with right. personal injury, pest control. Mm. Um, I have a whole list that I'm going to attach to Brett, give to Brett that we could go through. But every day there's adding one and one and one to the list, you know. But right, right. now, uh, you know, pest control, personal injury, HVAC, um, carpet cleaning, a lot of those service industries are blackballed. So if you put it up, if you buy it from a verification company, um, using the old method, uh, I don't want to get you guys confused about the old method, the new method, but a couple of weeks ago, we had an old method that we were using uh, uh, to do verifications, and Google caught on. So what yeah. people were doing is they were leaving footprints through the system. Google caught it, and Google suspended all the Gmails attached to all those verifications. So, wow. you know, the last couple of days, I, I, I know, as you guys heard, thousands, thousands of GMBs has been suspended. And that's from right. brick and mortar all the way right. to the service industry, you know. So right, right. it's, you know, I tell all my customers all the time, if you want to do verification, you know, it's an awesome thing to do. It's an awesome lead generation tactic, but it's black hat marketing. It's not right. white hat stuff that you would do right. to your main brick and mortar location, you know? Yeah. So, so he, here's, you brought up an interesting thing, right? And once again, I'm talking with uh, Daniel over at GMB Rockstars. Uh, if you just write that down, put it in your browser right now, GMB Rockstars. It's really the only company that I mess with in regards to when I, when I need to get a GMB. Uh, you know, I shouted them out about six months ago on my channel, and that's how we became friends, really. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's really the only people that I use, and none of my, verific- none of, none of my, uh, my GMBs have gone down. Uh, so uh, with that being said, with that being said, you have to realize, and this is something whether you use GMB rock stars or you use anybody or you're going to do it yourself. Let's look at it like this. Like there's four locksmiths in your small little town, right? You have this small little town. There's four locksmiths. There's been four locksmiths in that town for 20 years. Now, all of a sudden, within three days... There's 14 locksmiths, <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and they all opened on the same day, <laughs> yeah. like right, all within two or three miles away from each other, or 10 miles from each other, right? They're all all of a sudden 14 opened up. You're gonna get whacked. Yeah, you're gonna get whacked. You know, so that's what people were doing is that they were adding too many G- GMBs, especially in a sh- in a small area. And you don't go you don't go 20 years with just four to or four or five businesses in that area to all of a sudden double and tripling that all within two or three days. Yep. Right. And, so don't do that. And the bad part about it, they were building them wrong. You know what? Mm. What? What I tell a lot of my see what separates GMB rock stars to everybody else. We actually care about the marathon, not the sprint. We're not looking to make the money the next day. Yeah, this, you know, this method is to make quick money, but we still right. look for, you know, to help your company take it to the next level and and stay on that marathon, not keep that sprint, you know? So I tell right. my customers, if you're going to build something, build it right. Don't do what a lot of these other companies are, are doing just taking your money. Uh, hey, we, we're going to build you an exact domain listing. So basically mm-hmm. what a lot of companies were doing was locksmith Staten Island, New York. Locksmith yeah. Brooklyn, New York. Locksmith yeah. Queens. You cannot do that. That do not look real in Google's eyes. You know, and I, you well, know. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Yeah. This guy kind of preached that, right? So yeah. I did a video with somebody last week on a bail bonds here in Florida. Mm-hmm. And, and. The dude's the dude's ranking. The dude's yeah. ranking in the of first. Of course. In the first. Yes, it, it <laughs> works. Listen, I'm not going to say it don't work. It's black hat. Right. Market. It's going to work. But yeah. is yeah. it a but what marathon? If you name you, if you, name you it, I don't know. Marathon strategy? <laughs> no. You know. Well, well, Daniel. So let me say something. Like, let me say this. So say you want to name it Pinellas Park uh, uh, Pest Control. That's what you want to name it. Tampa yeah. Pest Control. Make That's what you want real. to name your business. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, okay. that, that that's what you want to do. You want to make these listings look real. Bob, let let's say you are in carpet cleaning. Let's just say Bob's carpet yeah. cleaning or Bob's carpet professionals. You don't want right. to do an exact domain because there's actually a Google task force that goes out to find these yeah, exact domains. And what they right. do is they slick. They'll call you. You'll pick up. They'll say, hey, this is a Google from Mountain View, California. We're just verifying this location. Um, what's your address? What a lot of times is they'll catch you there because a lot of these lead generations are fe fed to straight directly to the customer. So now oh, the customer ah, like, that's who that is. Wait, I just <laughs> that's that's it, that was like I've been getting calls. You, you like, know, so so yeah. now the customer like, oh, um, yeah, my address eleven thirty Main Street in uh Pennsylvania in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and they say. Oh, okay, no problem. <laughs> On the GMB, it's say 1356 Prospect Avenue. So what <laughs> happens now? Click. They they, they request a verif a video verification. You'll get an email right after that saying, "Hey, this is Google. Um, we're gonna vi video verify your location. Uh, please set up a call with us." Or they, if they on spy, and and this is the this all depends on the rep that calls you. They all different. Right. Some call from the Philippines, some calls yeah, from India. Ireland. You know, I yeah, had somebody yeah, yeah. call me from Canada once. Um, mm. it all depends on them. If they feel like it's really not legit, they'll just suspend it right there. You know, so. So, so speak to me about video verification. I don't. I, I never even heard of that. So What's with that video verification, what it is, you'll just get an email right after that call, right? A ninety percent of the times they'll call from Mountain View, California. You'll see a, right. a caller ID Mountain View, so you automatically know. So like me, we have lead generation websites throughout the United States, right? Everything from pest control to this, we call them money sites. So we don't right. usually direct that to a main business, Al's Towing, Martha's, you know, mm -hmm. a tree service, whatever it is. Um, we always tell our customers, hey, listen, if they call you, you know, these are the current addresses on the list. So if there's a secretary or there's somebody a receptionist up front, they know already to put, oh, you know, that location is 110 Prospect. So they don't get caught out there. Right. But there's a oh, lot right. of businesses that and you know watch videos like you have awesome education on YouTube, but don't think about it or don't have the education or or, or right. basically don't see this video and right. they just they just send them out to random business owners. That's how they sure. take it down, you know. So 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 when you, when they say a video verification, what do you have to do? You have to they they come to your place and video it or yeah. How does so that they work? basically request a number from you. It could be a cell phone or the business line. Right. 90% of the business lines don't do video, so they'll ask you for your cell phone. They'll call right. you up, and they'll actually do a video call with you and right. walk you through the location. You got to walk them through the location, show them your front door, Let's say, and they slick. What they'll do is they'll put the address in Google right in front of you and see if it matches the the, the picture that you're showing. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's it <laughs> gotten to a point that it's that crazy, you know? So that's the reason why we don't like, you know, and I, and, and like, like yesterday, we, I did an order with Brett yesterday with pest control, you know, it's like, yeah, we can't offer a service that we can't warranty, you know, it's right. just for me to sell, you know, 90% of our business, uh, our customers are coming from agencies, freelancers, at one point, 90% of all Fiverr deals were done through us. You know, mm. so yeah, at one point before Fiverr actually shut it down, you know, uh, ninety percent of all those Fiverr guys were upselling from us. You know, so oh. it, it, it got into a point where you know, it, if we didn't educate our guys on selling it to their customers, then it, it was crazy. You know, it got to a crazy point. So oh. the video verification is real. Google Task oh. Force is real. A lot of people tell me it was a myth, but you know, we have heads right now in the G right. house. And it's real. It's real. Wow. It's actually real, you know? Wow. That's crazy. I didn't know about that. You know yeah. about that, Darren? I yeah. see. I, I've got, I received calls about different sites I've had. Yeah, you hear myths about it, but it's real. And I'm like, nice. okay. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, who is this? And they're like, yeah, well, you, yeah. Have this, you have this business? I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? And yeah. It, it's, yeah that, so, yeah, that's it's kind insane. of surprising. So, so, you know. Going forward, if you do use this black hat method to get additional calls, it works, guys. It's uh, unbelievable. You know, it right now, mobile wrapping, vehicle vehicle wrap is the new thing for 2019. Nobody's painting their cars. These guys buying cars right off the lot, they wrap in the cars, any color they want, holograms. You ever see those cars that, 
you know, look holographic and you're like, oh, that's paint. No, it's yeah. a wrap. So right. that's big right. right now. Mobile pressure washing now. You know, if you if, if you have clients that want to make that additional, you know, redigital income, everybody need extra income now in 2019, you know, and sure. if, if they going down that route, pick the low hanging fruit, pick the low yeah. hanging Fruit that it's so give us a ranking. So give us a couple of so give yeah. us a couple of your give us three your your, your top three right easy now, rank mobile yeah. pressure washing unbelievable unbelievable right now really Killing. mobile pressure. I have we yeah. have twenty one year olds twenty five year olds at a Rutgers University doing it killing absolutely killing it you know and easy to so rank. you're saying easy to rank. right so you're saying they're buying GMBs. And then rent, and then rent, and then renting them out. Yeah, well, so, so the right way to do it, okay? Yeah. Your first location. I'm gonna, and 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 this is a, a little strategy that I give a lot of people, a lot of high SEOs. You know, wouldn't do it that way, but it all depends. You know, it on, is about that on your strategy. It's about right? high SEOs. So, so, so what we do is we basically that first location, the main location, you get a postcard verification for. It. That could be anybody from your aunt to your grandma to a friend, a real yeah. postcard verification, right? We attach right. a real website to that, not a one pager, right. not a click funnels page, none of that crap. We build a, a Weebly. Full, we're building a full full page website. Hold with on a, a second. Hold on. Hold okay. on. Hold on. You you're faster than me. <laughs> you know what? We're from New York. That's why. Just, I know. And I'm just me. I'm from Indiana. I'm just sitting back like, okay. Yeah, but he's still on hello. <laughs> he's still on Johnson's one white. Yeah. Hey, so wait, wait, you threw me off. Uh, uh, what was I just going to say? Okay, so we're building a lot of sites now and using that one page Weebly shit. What do you think of that? Uh, Garbage. If to, to remember, I don't want to spend lot, a lot of time. Remember, yeah. a lot of that power that coming from that GMB is coming from that organic. It works together. That website yes. that connected to that GMB is powering yeah. that that GMB. If you ever right. see a lot of GMBs that actually rank it with no website, no yes. competition. There's no right. comp if if you look at those those businesses locally, all those yes. businesses probably built on Wix. They probably, right. you know, have two backlinks to it, no press right. releases. Right. No citations, none of that. Most of right. that power to to power up to supercharge that GMB is from that website. That's why a mm. lot of business owners they don't, you know, especially in 2019, they don't succeed because they don't have a powerful enough website. They don't have press, you know, they don't have press releases connected to it, backlinks, social right, fortresses. Right, 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 right now, social signals the most strongest thing in 2019. You know, Google want to see. Facebook signals. They want to see Instagram, Pinterest, right. um, right. Foursquare, Snapchat, yeah, anything yeah, yeah. that you know to do with the relevant. They want to see that, and that's a big ranking purpose. Like if you ever see a lot of websites that don't have a Yelp, if you connect a Yelp to that site, add a citation, you see the site go fly up because Yelp yeah, right. is a super strong citation for Google. Yeah, because you know? because uh, Yelp it's hard to get a Yelp site now. Exactly. So and they know yeah, this. So. They know right. this. They, they know right. that once you fill out a Yelp page, you're going to have Mary from from Manhattan call you and try to sell your Yelp ads. <laughs> you know right. they know. <laughs> they know. That's the reason why it's so powerful that you know, and I tell my customers that, you know, there's awesome, you know, places to buy citations out there, but so when you buy pre huh? Uh, local local citation uh, services.com. They're at I believe they're out of Pakistan. They're awesome. Um I believe really? his name is Sharid. He's been in the business since like 99, you know, you could actually buy like, um, what was it? Uh, the last deal I had, I think it was 300, 300 citations for a hundred bucks. Like it was what? awesome. Wow. Was awesome. You know, so it's now local these are citation not, services dot com dot com. Local yeah. Local these citation not, services dot com. Yeah. These are not supercharged citations like yellow pages right. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But if you're in a low competition area, Attach yeah, this to yeah. the website. Give course, the guy a hundred dollars. Let him yeah, yeah, yeah. citations that your website yeah. can, you know, your website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've been using, website. I've been using, I've been using a uh, virtual girl over at Fiverr. You ever, you yeah, ever there's, there's so many. There's so many. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it's insane. Okay. You know, okay. um, one of the good ones out there, WebRanker 2.0. 
Uh, oh, Web yeah, I heard about um, them. Yeah, those guys, Chad, uh, Mark out of uh, um, Pennsylvania, they're awesome. The good thing about them is they build up, build you the premium citations like Foursquare, the Yelp, right. the, all the good stuff. But they do it right. for you, you know. Yeah. And but I don't want to get, get get into that because that's more white labeling. But I know a lot. Most of your most of your customer clients or viewers are business owners, you know. So Correct. at the end of the day, the GMB strategy is the right way to do it. You just got to do it the right way, you know. Right, right, and that's the reason why we brought you on the show today is because like my knowledge of GM uh, of maps is high, but my 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 obviously now talking to you. My my knowledge of GMBs I thought was high isn't so high so yeah. you know you you that's your shit that's your right. shit yeah. like I tell a lot of people GMB is just one part of the puzzle you know one yeah. especially in SEO it's a marathon guys like I, I have people yeah. calling me like oh Danny I just got off the phone with Home Advisor I just shot them six hundred and ninety dollars I I don't hear none of my leads I don't hear none of my fault I'm paying these guys out the kazoo and I tell them right. you know. Pull out your phone right now. Google, you know, painter in Atlanta, Georgia. Who do you see? He's like, not me. Yeah. I'm like, exactly. Yeah. You have to right. build the website. We're in 2019, guys. You know, there's no right. there's no yellow pages. There's no phone books. There's none right. of this crap. I, I was just, you know, this morning I talked to a tow truck driver, 31 years in this industry. And he tells me, mm -hmm. Danny, how does these young kids come, go buy, rent a tow truck, a lease a tow truck? <laughs> And dominate me. I've been here for 31 years, and I tell him, right. pull out your he phone. tries a tow truck. Pull yeah. out your phone and 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 look who's in your area. And right. he, he looked at, and the kid showed up. And I told right. him, you need to be a marketer online. You know, right. you know, we're getting to a point where you, uh, eventually you're gonna ask Alexa, Alexa, I need a tow truck, or Alexa, right. I need a win a, a house cleaner, and she's gonna spit right. out the three pack to you. It's there gonna you get go. to that point. You know, there so. you go. So, 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 Dan, you know, you kind of brushed on something for a second. You, we, we spoke about the website that you're going to attach to your GMB. Okay. Now, I have a project where I'm doing several hundred, the, the guy's a mover, mm -hmm. several hundred GMBs. Okay. So I'm like, I can't build a website for every one of them. So here's my question to you mm -hmm. Could it, what, what would be better to attach a Weebly to it? I would attach to each a one. Wait, wait, oh. give me a choice. Okay, go. Or or build or build like um uh uh, uh XYZ movers and attach 10 GMBs to that one. To a I, real site. And, and this is for his main business or just for additional calls? Uh, additional calls. So what I will do is, right? I I'll take his main business name, right? Right. Make sub pages for that for right. every area around that location and yeah. build a GMB for every at every location with a new number, new address, right. new NAP, right. right? Then make an additional subpage for it. So let's say he's at a New Brunswick, New Jersey, okay? At, right, around right. New Brunswick, we got East Brunswick, South Brunswick, Old Bridge, Raritan, Spotswood. You'll make subpages for all those locations and connect the GMB to it. You get me now? Connect. Wow. What? Huh. I don't so you're know. Saying, Do you get that down? Yeah, go ahead. So, so you're saying not only would you not only would you have that one GMB for the New Brunswick, mm -hmm. but you would also build supporting G GMBs. Supporting GMBs. So let's say Larry's tow truck company, okay? He's yeah. out of North, New, North Brunswick, right? Okay. You're going to do Larry's towing company out of Spotswood. Larry's towing company out of East Brunswick, Edison. And you're going to make that a sub page. You're going to write maybe 500 to 1,000 word content on that right. town and on the service. That's what I tell a lot of people, on the town also. Because the, given the town and the keyword together, it's it, Google loves that stuff. You know, attach a so. GMB to that, a nap, put the nap on the page. It could be at the bottom blacked out. Yeah, and nobody sure. cares. It just needs to be on the page, you know. Right. And um, that's it. You just basically, you know, you want to do your backlinks, press release. You know, you got to build it. You got to build it. Right. I mean, there's right, guys out there. There's guys out there just like you right now, uh, 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 Brett. He's built. They build pages. They put attach one pages to them. But right. if there's competition in that area, it's not going to rank. It's going to be page three, page, right. three, page five. You know. Right. So. It's it's like to damn if you do, damn if you don't. If if it's a yeah. low competition area in the Midwest, 
uh, where there's no other competition, then you could build the right. one pages. But for me, I'm up north. Yeah. There's a lot right. of competition. Sure. You know, we built we build out a sub page with a thousand, you know, a thousand to five hundred to a thousand words. And then we actually build the fortress, the social fortress. We build a Facebook page, an Instagram page, everything for that one location also. That sub page. For that one sub page. Yeah. yeah. So you, yeah. you want to build it out like like think about it if if Starbucks opened up in Manhattan on the east side they're going to open right. up they're going to open up a Facebook page for that location they're going right. to open up everything a Yelp for that location you know even though it's a franchise you know what I'm saying so you have to yeah. think just you like think that like that. for your right. for your customers businesses I say that, I say that so, yesterday Right yeah. so so you're right. So uh, a Home Depot, Starbucks, or uh, Dunkin' Donuts, all these places wouldn't just get different names. You exactly. keep that one name. You keep that one name, and then you do a sub page for the location. Exactly. Now the thing that I, right, but okay. So now the thing that I don't understand so much is that I don't understand what you meant by building around the towns and getting GMBs to that. Yeah. Did you get that, Darren? Did you get no, that? that's that's kind of where I'm. That's kind of where I'm. I'm okay, so yeah. so. Remember, Google removed the radius option on our service-based businesses. Do you, you, you guys know that, they right? Just, they, yeah, they just they did. moved the radius option. So now, what a lot of people do is they'll build a GMB and they'll put hundreds of zip codes in their service area in the GMB. Okay, right. You don't have that's to. Just do no good. good. Yeah, is that doing good or no? You, eh, you could do it. Yes, if you if your customer don't want to do the GMB option, but right. if you're building it from scratch. Just put that location down for that zip code and then put the sub pages, you know, the, the, and then create the sub pages with the with the zip code and the area and those in those new GMBs that you build around it. You get what I'm saying? So that's if you're building them a brand new build from the beginning, you know, but if let, let's say Rob called you from A&J Towing and he's been there for 20 years, what you do is just oh, what you do is just buy new um, verifications around that listing sub page and that's it you call it a day and, and a new phone number for that location you know what i'm saying right 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 so right. but you got to build them out right that's what a lot of people don't do they'll say oh i'm gonna build a one page uh, attach a gmb yeah. to it do an exact domain and call it a day it's not gonna last because it don't look real right if google sees right. that it attached to a main business they're gonna be oh okay that's a, that's their service area you know, they're not right. really looking for those. They're looking for the spam, the exact domain, the towing Atlanta, Georgia. The okay, okay. So, Georgia, so, stuff like that. so let's go back to this. So I have this mover that mm -hmm. has that that bought GMBs with. Okay. Uh, oh my God! So he bought he bought a lot of uh, exact match uh, uh, GMBs, mm -hmm. exact match. Okay. And then he bought domain names, exact match domain names. Okay. I mean, you you could use them. You could use them. Yeah, but they're not going to last, though. Uh, so exactly. so I want to try to keep this account. Exactly. I want to try to keep this account. Exactly. So exactly. what should I do? Remove, uh, change the names of the GMBs? It's hard to tell the customer that he's failed in buying all those GMBs. Yeah. But, but as a business owner, you know, you have to. At the end of the day, these clients sure. don't have nobody else but us. To yeah, of course, of course. When right, just, well you know, and I, I don't want to name a lot of companies now, name them out on the internet, but a lot of companies, right. they just want to take their SEO money and that's it. If And, oh, yeah. and what they do is they Correct. sign these customers up with contracts, you know, a habu, they sign them up yeah. with contracts. Oh, yeah. And now they'll, if you try to get out because you don't see no results, they prorate you a thousand, three thousand dollars. Yeah, right. And they take that, it right, right. Not the way you, yeah. and that burns us as independent yeah, right. people's out there because now when we approach the customer and like listen this is what i did for all these businesses they're gonna say habu did the same thing to me you know right yeah, so, yeah right 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 so I, right. that's what i like to do with my customers advise them you know i wouldn't put you guys in a predicament where a, a week down the road you're gonna say hey uh all these listings are down, you know, we don't want to do that, you know? So right, right. that's why on our site, if you notice with the garage repair, the personal injury, the pest control, we're not offering those services because we can't give you a warranty for it. So why, right. you know, why put you in that bind when yeah, a of course. time comes where we could get somebody to warranty the work, then, you know, we, we would go forward. But for us to put you in a predicament, it's not worth it. You know, I agree. You got a question, so, Darren? I have one. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, so does the price, does your price vary based on the industry 
or is it a flat price? No, right? Currently, right now, it's a flat price on with the new method. We actually have a 48 to 72 hour delivery time with the new method right now. So it's awesome. Um, there's other vendors right there uh, out there right now that have a million dollars plus in orders that they have to back. Yeah. Back I can refer a gang so, of people wow. to you right now, buddy. It's insane. <laughs> so right now we're getting bombarded with messages saying, "Oh my God, what am I gonna do? I don't have money to pay you because I put money into this company." Yeah, they right. Say, they saying that I they can't refund me now. You know, and it's not right. And I get it. I get it. Right. You know, it's right, it's, right. it's a sucky situation, especially for a lead generation person to put out so much money for. You know, I call yeah. it real estate. And, yeah, and be enough to get your money back, you know, and it stinks. Yeah. That's why our new method, we give a 30 day warranty on these. Um, Obviously, as a business owner, as a lead gen guy, you know, when you buying these from us, you know that they're black hat from the beginning. Just yeah, the ones that we're offering is a little less black hat than the garage repair locksmith and all that. You know, they're working right now. So that's why we sell yeah. them. You know, okay. gotcha. So I got I got a, I got another question for you. So, you know, as, as as important as building the GMB and also building the website is also building a map with pin with pins. What's your what's your thought on that? Building the a pin, map with the pins. pins work. The pins yeah. work. That's really going into optimizing the GMB. I wouldn't right. go too crazy on optimizing the the verifications that you buy off vendors. Like, so let's say you buy fifty off me. I wouldn't optimize them. Why? Yeah. Because that's giving breadcrumbs, throwing breadcrumbs out there. The longer the GMB is online, the more the, the more power it gets. It's just like a website. You know, yeah, with the website, right. a website for five years will beat out a new website with a thousand backlinks. Just because time, Google loves time. Google loves yeah, yeah, sure. the internet. Sure, you know? sure, so sure. Now, if you have a personal brand, a brick and mortar that you're building for a customer, optimization is the best thing you could do. And we offer that service as a white label option to agencies okay. also, you know, and Good. that's something you want to do. But that's right. a piece of the puzzle. You still got to mm. do the on-site SEO, on-site, off-site SEO on the main website because that right. what powers it. We still need clicks. Correct. Exactly. Right. That what powers right. it. So okay, another question for you. Customers call me, Danny, why pay you $3,500 for a website and Wix can give it to me for free? And I basically yeah. break it down to them. Wix giving you a four-cylinder Honda motor and I'm giving <laughs> you a Hemi, a Hemi turbocharged <laughs> Hellcat, you know? So <laughs> that's how I break it down to them, you know? But, you know, customers don't really understand the public. That's no, okay. I don't, deal, I don't deal with people who don't understand. Yeah. And that's the great thing about when, you know, since I started this show, I'm really getting people that are interested in, in this subject. Yeah. And, you know, um, that, that, that's better for you. All right. So I have another question for you. Favorite rapper of all time. Oh my God. Probably Mine. I, I'm a nineties baby. So I love Nas, man. Wow. <laughs> okay. I, I love right. Nas. Um, you know, KRS. Sleep is the cousin. Cool too, but Sleep is the my, cousin of death. Yeah. That's my number one saying, man. Uh, that's, it. that's it. That's it. How about man. you, Darren? Oh man. Red man. <laughs> really? Yeah. My far, man. Red snow, man. I'm up and down, red, man. All right. I got to go. I got to go with Big Fun. Yeah, big Fun? Go oh, yes. 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 I, I, yes, I, 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 I thought he was going to say Big Fun. Yeah. Big yeah, Fun. So did I. Big yeah, Fun. Yeah, okay. well, how about this? Name your top five, Brett. Ooh. <laughs> top five rappers of all time? All time. We could okay. go back. I got to go. With, okay. 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 I don't have to go back anywhere. I'm going to go with Big Pun, number one. I'm going to go with Fat Joe, number two. I'm going to go with Remy Ma, number three. I'm going to go Terror with Rob Cash, number four. Terror Squad! <laughs> I'm going to go with uh, Lita, number five. Okay. That, I, how do I not say Biggie? I just, I just like New York. I just like New York and the Bronx rappers, you know? Yeah. Biggie, how about you? Biggie should have been your number one. <laughs> over, over, uh, over Big Pun? Uh, I don't know. That, that's a tough one. That's tough. <laughs> You know why? Because Pun only made, I think, two albums, you know, and uh, he got, you know, you know, he was seven, 700 pounds when he died. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. Uh, he, he was, was trying, 28. I, I watched a Fat Joe uh, doc documentary and he was trying to lose it, man. He was trying his best. But yeah, you know, oh, yeah, it was a struggle. It was the people around him, supposedly, that yeah. were uh, 
just keep feeding him, man. You get, you know, you yeah. it's it, it sucks, man. Weight is a bad thing right now, you know. It's yeah, it sure is with all the fast food and everything. With all the fast food. So why don't we talk about uh why don't we talk about some of the industries that have got that that are that are uh that are tough that you know are, are impossible. What give me give me top five that are impossible. Top five currently locksmith, yeah, garage impossible. repair. Locksmith, right. garage repair, um cannabis. Woo, no good. Cannabis, uh, the the stir, uh, the uh, what do you call it? The distilleries that they have in California. They, you right. have to go through a whole process to verify them. Um, rehab is not good right now either. It's it's on a downfall. Wow. And um, it's between HVAC and plumbing, man. Those two is I heard that. Th- those two is uh, people spamming the crap out of them for the air duct cleaning and all that. Right. Stuff. Especially the Midwest. The Midwest is crazy with it. You know, wow, because they're getting away with it in the Midwest, but now Google trying to catch on, and you know, it's you can't compete in the Manhattan, New York, with the with these big companies, but in the Midwest, Correct. you could get yeah, away. Yeah, with it, you know. So, so did you see that uh, Algo update the other day where they removed the more places and then brought it back? Yeah, you saw I, that. You saw they brought it back today. They they playing. They see Google's funny, man. Google plays, but it plays with our hearts as SEOs. And <laughs> yeah, it's you it's know, and a lot of guys, a lot of big time uh, guys. They always go on the 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 Google Live seminars that they have, and they try to get it out of them or what the next right. update is. But they yeah. they know better, you know. It's right. you know, it, it's I, my thing is if you have a bit service based business nowadays. Try to work on your website, your SEO, right. and your GMB optim- optimization first. Once you right. become number one in organic, number one in the map pack, your citations are strong enough to be in that first place, place also. Because remember, a lot, a lot of people know you can still throw backlinks at your citations. You can power them up. Oh, there's, gotcha. there's, there's ways to power them up. You know, Fiverr right. sell a right. lot of tactics where you could power up your yelp power up these listings you know try to get your even your citations on the first page you know and then then i made a video on that yeah and then when you're ready to great idea man when you're ready man i just thought about that man like wait a minute just thought about i made a video i made a video about that i made a video about that eight months ago yeah about i i so so here's what i used to do right so for me uh, I don't want to. I don't want to uh, sidetrack. But here's what I used to do. So I was number one in Staten Island website design. That was very, very important to me. And I just felt like nobody else should be on that page. So mm-hmm. I was like, I'm just going to make ten other websites, mm-hmm. right? And, and like, uh, you know, whatever. My, you know, my website is Mindsaw, and then I was going to make ten other companies and then optimize all those. And then somehow I watched this video, and this guy spoke about this guy Mike Stephens. I don't know if you know him, right? Real, yeah, I'm good, good friends with Mike. He's good. You know, oh yeah. Oh, he's yeah. good, man. Good guy. He's good. good. Guy. He's one of the first guys to get me into SEO. And he made a video, and he was like, "Hey, man, look, you got your Yelp page, and your and your page authority on it is a zero. So you got to throw l- links to it. So I started throwing links to it, and then I noticed." that my Yelp page started showing up on the first page of Google for Staten Island website design. So, uh-oh, uh-oh, spaghettios. Yeah. Yeah. So I took, I, took my, my, I took all my citations, I powered them all up, mm-hmm. and seven out of the ten listings at one time were all mine. Yeah, wow. man. They were it, all mine. Wow. But it takes a lot of maintenance. It takes a lot of maintenance it to does. do that. But it I powered does. up my citations yeah. so hard. Uh, that I was able to rank all my citations on the first yeah. page. So that's like a good service for somebody who's like a lawyer or or mm-hmm. or, or whatever. Is like you know you have you know there's ten listings on the homepage. You have your business, you have your Yelp page, you have your Facebook page, and you have something else. And you're knocking four people out of the competition. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, six yes. people out of competition. And not only that, you're strengthening up your citations to to point towards your website and making it stronger. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. A lot yeah, of even a strong that. no follow. That'd be yeah, 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 definitely. A lot of the youngins, a lot of the, the new SEO guys, they don't really like the backlink structure. They don't like doing the backlinks, but at the end of the day, as you know, the OGs, the people who've been in this industry, the backlinks need to be done. They need to I be agree. done. Basically, I call the backlinks votes from the internet. When I talk to a yeah, customer, I tell them yeah. you need votes. From the internet. Right. That's at right. one time EDU links used to be so strong. You get yeah, some yeah. ruckus or 
you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. from NYU, and that would blast your site to the top. But now it's not like that. Now they want the social signals. They want, right. you know, they want different signals. So you just follow what they want to do, and you know, you, you'll get ranked there, man. And it's a monthly thing, just like you said. You could be number one right. for five years, and then. You know, you have Chris Ortiz or somebody from New York come in and and take you out. You know, and, right. and these guys have a, these these guys have their own private link yeah. networks. These guys right. have thousands of links that any day they could just attach a website, put an anchor, and boom. You know, that's why you know right. I don't know of a guy Matt Diggity. He's the king of links. This yeah. guy, yeah. He, yeah is the man this guy you know and i i've, I've been buying links from him since 2000 you know and um right, right. you know you wanna if you if you are thinking What's this about website? you know it uh i don't know it off okay. hand i can give it to you you can put it on the link but um you know okay. if you are in the market of buying links for your personal brand you know mm -hmm. try to stay away from the fiber try to stay away from the upwork and buy from you know private vendors who have strong links that built right you know that they're not right. built with Wix dot com servers and yeah, yeah. attached together because all that stuff Google could trace. You know, yeah. um, I agree. There was one project that I did in uh, 2013 that uh, everybody's saying that oh you're gonna get you know if you put too many links to a site they'll de-index you and I telling you I put like ten thousand links to that site and I yeah, never we, got de-indexed. Yeah, we know about that. Yeah, so, really? <laughs> so, you still up there? Yeah, you hear me? You still up there? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're still yeah. up there? So no, 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 no. I took it down. It was just oh, like a project, oh, oh. but um, okay. You, it's really hard to get the index in Google, man. Like it's right. You know, so build your stuff right. Make sure everything is branded. Make sure everything is correct. Your NAP is correct throughout the whole system. Don't change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But don't change. Sometimes your customer want to change their number. Like no, don't change. Don't it. Don't <laughs> it's gonna right, ruin right. the interest. You know, listen, so. we're coming up. We're coming up on our time. I just have one or two questions for you. Uh, I'm sure Darren has one or two also. So the uh, w one thing is that uh, what do you think of Yext for citations? Ugh, they're expensive, man. What is it? Five hundred dollars oh, no. now a year? Yeah, like that? yeah. I think um, you got to buy the thousand dollar package. Also. Yeah, it, it, it's it's expensive. If you go through like a uh, company like WebRanker, they'll give you those premium. Uh, you oh, know, yeah? for a one time. Yeah, if you ch if you check it out, um, it's it's pretty it's pretty expensive also. But at the end of the day, you know this SEO stuff is not cheap. You know, you no, it's not. At the end People of the day, you don't want to you you don't want to buy the cheap citations for a customer who you really you know who you really want to rank and really want to dominate, especially in a high competition area. You know. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. And, and another thing I wanted to ask you is, you know, we get we get a couple of hundred people watch these videos throughout the time. Sometimes uh, sometimes I get a few thousand. And there's always people that want uh, after watching a video like this, they realize that it's a lot of work and you want to pick the right person. And we feel that we have the three right people here. But, mm -hmm. you know, how would somebody reach out to you if they wanted to do private consultation, for example, if they wanted to if they wanted to lease you out for 45 minutes or an hour, do you have something like that? I'm not saying you yeah, have to give yeah, a price. Yeah, yeah, private consultations. They can email me at gmbrockstars at gmail.com um, and just, you know, book something. Tell me your build. Tell me your plan. We do everything from lead generation fortresses to, you know, basically brand websites, you know. Um, right. Even starting to dab into the real estate industry right now with Facebook ads. Uh, we're getting some... Um, a name, phone number, email for for about two cents each on Facebook oh. ads right now. So we're dabbing wow. into that right now. It's not really blown out. I didn't put it on the site yet, but um, yeah, real yeah, estate, yeah. real estate leads are coming also. Beautiful. Yeah, you'll be hearing Beautiful. from me. I got some referrals yeah. for you, man. Yeah. You have an affiliate. You have an affiliate program or no? Oh uh, no, no affiliate program. But when if somebody do referrals, especially with uh the verifications, and you know I get them. You know. Okay. I work with them. Yeah. Cool. That's cool, great. Man. That's great. Well, Daniel, I just want to thank you very much for taking the time to come on the show. And no uh, I have to say, this is definitely one of the shows that I, I you know, I really learned a lot. And yeah. it's a show that I'm going to have to rewatch because you really said a lot of important things. And mm -hmm. I, I really hope that if you have some time, I'd like to have you on again. Yeah, of course, you man. Know, of course, you know? Definitely a lot of energy. You brought a lot of uh, That's you, it. you brought a lot. Yeah, you brought a lot of knowledge to the table today, man. I the, New, the New York guys got to stay together, man. Uh, <laughs> For sure. Wow. <laughs> Must. <laughs> you see that, Darren? Wow. Darren's from uh, 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 Indiana. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So yeah. I know I know what you're talking about with towing. 
towing and stuff yeah. like that. So I, I know exactly what you're talking about, man. Yeah, towing uh, is another one, man. Right now, it's it's very, very, very fragile. It's getting to a point where it's gonna be like uh, another, you know, another um, locksmith, man. As long as they build it right, that's it. At the end of the yeah. day, build it right and be patient because eventually it'll rank, you know? Yeah. Right. Okay. That's great. Great, great words. Daniel, once again, thanks again. I just want to tell everybody to please go to uh, GMB Rockstars. Go to GMBRockstars.com. Yes. Uh, uh, say hello to my friend Daniel. And uh, uh, if you need SEO done, please check out my friend Darren over at uh, Rattle SEO, R A T E L S E O. And naturally, you know, my name is Brett. I'm from mindsaw.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Once again, fellas, thank you very much. And we'll see thank you, you guys. Charlie. Right thank you. Take it easy. All right, man. Be cool.